I'm Chris, and today let's talk about this crazy huge wasp. Let's do this real quick. Now I'm upstairs in my barn, and I hear this ridiculously loud buzzing noise. I didn't know quite where it was coming from. There's usually a wasp nest somewhere up there in, uh, in a window or something like that. And then all of a sudden I look up, and I see this thing just flying towards the lights up there. So I'm watching it for a little bit, and then I decide to go downstairs and get a fishing net. I come back upstairs, and I'm patiently waiting, trying to catch this thing. And then finally I catch this thing in the fishing net. And now what am I going to do? So I kind of like throw the fishing net to the ground to trap it in between the floor and the fishing net. And I, I still don't know what I'm going to do. So I, I go downstairs. I find a bottle. I think this was like a jalapeno jar or something like that. And I managed to get it inside the jar. And this thing is just massive. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know what it is. I couldn't tell you what it is. But I knew I had to find it. Now you can see here just size relation with my hand. It's got to be at least an inch, inch and a half, two inches long. But this thing is huge. I mean, you can see its jaws opening up and everything. Now, as far as I know, looking online, my best guess, this is a cicada killer or cicada hawk or eastern cicada killer. Whatever name you want to give it. That's what I'm pretty sure it is. Now, I know I have cicadas around here and... Oddly enough, after I caught this thing, I tried to catch a cicada, but it didn't end up happening. Now, the cicadas actually, as far as I know, live in the ground as like a grub or something like that for a ridiculous amount of years, like 18 years or something like that. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm, I'm sure I don't have my facts quite right. But they live in the ground, and then they all come up out of the ground at once, and they, they shed their exoskeleton or whatever it is, or they molt or whatever, and they... they you know, change into this bug that flies around. And as far as I know, these cicada killers, they'll climb on the back of the cicadas and then sting it with their stinger and do whatever they do, eat them. And I think these cicada killers, they'll go and live where the cicadas are. I don't know if they live in the ground. I think they might, actually. I'm going to have to research it a little bit more and find out a bit more information on these things. But this thing was just so huge and, and almost prehistoric. I had a try to get a video and share it with you guys. If anybody has any more information on these things or even more information on cicadas and how they live, please leave a comment below. I'd like to find out a little bit more information.